Kai, I promise I'll save you. Squad E, move out! Miles, we're gonna draw that tank platoon's fire. If we want to survive, we need to stay on guard. Yes, sir! Everyone else, focus on rescuing Raz and Kai. Now this is a pleasant surprise. They're looking for some fun too, huh? I want to make this last. Don't break too easy on me, babe. Right, okay. Claude, do you have a sec? I want to try these out. These are a Riley Miller special. Armor-piercing grenades. Ooh, Those yes. Stop the tank dead in its tracks. Except I assume the super good tank, right? Oh, right. You said you were modifying your grenades. So this is what you came up with? Told you I'd finish in time. Came down to the wire, though. Anyway, I'm hoping to try them out. Ready for orders. Listen up, everyone. We're fighting for our lives to protect what we care about. The source of that may be different for every one of us, but we all feel that same determination in our hearts. Remember, a conviction is the strongest weapon you carry. Last stand. When the soldiers put into critical condition, they may be able to take a last stand through sheer willpower. <laughs> the options for this action include stand up, counter, and inspire. If no option is chosen before the time runs out, inspire will be activated by default. Stand up lets a unit move invincibly and deliver. Ooh, invincibly! And deliver one last attack, which wears off after attacking or ending their action. Counter is open when an enemy attack puts a soldier in critical condition. The ally counterattacks before falling. Spire buffs the nearest ally and gives the squad one more CP. The boosted stat varies based on the fallen unit's class. Oh, this is incredibly interesting. I like this. Choose the best action for the situation to make one last stand before you fall. It also looks like you're timed. So you gotta figure out what you want to do and fast. I should not have put Curtis right here. Just as I thought. I think I hit their tank dreads with that grenade. And they keep hitting this invincible wall. This is good. Well, well. Now this guy is dangerous. Oh, kid, why are you not in cover? This looks bad. That was an awful place to put him. So his weak point appears to be on top of his tank, which I think means that we've got to hit it with a grenade. Like that's that's pretty difficult to hit otherwise. Not a good idea. No. Come on. Ooh. So our first real look, there are a lot of base camps around here, which makes me think this map may end up being repurposed potentially. Not sure on that, but it could be. Let's see, Grenadier, that's a problem. Gatling turrets, also a problem. I did give them a sniper though, so they might be able to deal with that at range. Another Gatling turret. If we remember right though, I believe that the snipers don't do a ton of damage to that. As you wish. I found them. I found them. <laughs> don't look at me. <laughs> We're getting you out. You're gonna be okay. 
We're Don't not letting one unit die, believe me. What? Anybody dies and we Come reset. On, you on a tank like that? Right, okay. There's just a lot of routes that I definitely don't want to go. Here I go. Nice, uh, nice little box she's in, by the way. This is good. Let's see how much damage these do. I was gonna say, okay, so it's, it is the only, uh, it is the only one. Okay. Take this. Ugh. That clearly would take quite a few shots. However, Here I go. I'm sure we'd get some reward for it. Come on! Ooh, ooh, we actually hit it dead on. Yeah, we're gonna kill him. We are definitely gonna kill him. Here I go. I must have just missed before. Yeah, if you hit dead on, that's a ton of damage. All set. I think I may have taken out his treads or something. I'm not sure exactly what happened there. Can't get enough accuracy. Here I go. And I, I know it's a lot of CP, but I really think this is worth it. Well, this got nasty. All right. One more for me. So there's only two tanks left, so I doubt they'll do enough damage right off. We'll, fo uh, we'll, uh, whoa, we'll focus on them in a bit. Let's start moving forward arguments. All right then. The enemy. Captain Nerd here. The front line is in chaos. Awaiting orders, Commander. That's the Gatling turret, and I can see the Hold Grenadier position. from here. I'll head over for some. Feel that breeze. It'd be nice if they didn't take two of my special units to go and die over there. But, you know, whatever. I expect the very best out of all of you. Yeah, that's... That's no damage. Naturally. <sighs> but we're gonna get rid of that Grenadier, at least. Oh, I think he's crouching. No, he's not. Time to hunt. Got him. Target destroyed. That's good. That Very that good. guy would have actually been a pretty decent problem for us to deal with. Don't know if I like my sniper being the uh, the vanguard here. Yeah, I think we hit their treads. <laughs> Man, you guys keep hitting that wall. I don't know the best way to deal with a Gatling turret at range. Uh, sir? Calm down! We need some- Woo! Woo. Can we hit them from here? I was gonna say, I don't know how the best way to deal with it without just hiring our own Grenadier to deal with that. 
Naturally. There's another one behind him. They might be. Oh. We're taking some damage from that, too. That... It's a Gatling turret. That might honestly be worth it for us to go out and deal with that real quick. There they are! Uh, yeah, that's gonna be a problem. Right there. They might be soldiers after all. Yeah. In fact, now that I'm thinking about it, that probably is the best way to deal with all of this because there's more grenadiers. <laughs> Anti-tank cannon. Okay, moving you. out. Very good. Uh-oh! The enemy! Leave it to me! Four, or one. Can we hit that? Heat this! Got him! I should have expected as much from you. So yeah, this is too close. Everyone's at their limit. Come on. Hmm, nope. Yeah, that, that grenadier is a problem, and I don't know if we can hit him from down there. That being said, he can't see us from here, so he's going to have to move to hit us. Advancing! Changes to the plan. Try not to get killed. Let's see if we can make this work. That guy is gonna shoot us. Watch out for counterattack. Thank you. Okay, so this went a whole lot differently than I thought it would. That being said, we got rid of the two of the tanks, one of them being really dangerous. 
So, as long as we don't die, <laughs> then maybe we'll be alright. I'm actually a little worried about leaving Riley alone by herself, though. There's nothing really making Riley have to stay here, though. Ouch. Please hit. So I think what we'll do is we're going to move Riley. We're going to put a second shock, tro shock trooper on our base camp and get them both into cover. That should hopefully be enough defense and everything to keep us relatively safe. Assuming that an enemy doesn't move in on this turn and end us now, which could happen. Honestly, even a scout could probably make it at this point. She's got low enough health. Ooh, ouch. Okay. I can't. We might lose this. Depends on if their AI lets that one unit move again and capture the base camp. Oh, it does. No, wait, no, that's... Sorry, that's over here. So we kind of got saved right there by them running out of CP and the AI not letting it capture the base camp really quick. So who did I call in? I called you in. That's not exceptionally helpful right now. That's actually the opposite of helpful at the moment. Um, by any chance, are you going to let me get up and move without killing me? Enemy spotted! Look out! They're on to nope. you! Nope. I won't give up. Oh! Uh, stand up! It hurts, but... Stop! You to She's invincible now. That's the squad I've heard so much about. It's an interesting mechanic, I like it. <laughs> Don't take our base camp, nerd. I can't go. <laughs> I'll finish what you start. That is an interesting mechanic, and I, I think I like it. Fortunately, there is nobody on the base camp, so Leave it to me. Riley's going to have to do this. Nope. That being said, maybe we can kill their tank first. Can you not? Never Why would you do that? Of our Be aware of your allies' positions. So yeah, like I said, there is no actual reason for Riley to stay there other than that it's Ladies a decent defensible position. Show me what you can do. We will though. We'll use Riley to keep the camp safe for a turn until the other people come in. Dang it. Come on, Hoffman. We gotta get to Raz and the others. Found them. Over here! We need help! I won't let you die. Good. I made it in time. They're in range. I think she'll probably be okay. Maybe. Not entirely sure. Okay, moving out. Keep calm and move onward. Fire! Target destroyed. Very good. Ooh. 
right. We need to get rid of this Gatling turder. It is going to shoot Rebecca. Advancing. Think about that too much. Last things that are in the way is this Grenadier. There's a unit here and a bunch of normal units. That Gatling turret probably needs to get removed as well. So if I can get rid of these two units and maybe the Gatling turret, they should be completely fine, I'm thinking. Aye, aye, sir! Orders? Watch out! They're on to you! Ow. My cover! It's gone. Sir, yes, sir. I wonder, do little shacks like this provide Objective complete. <laughs> protection against Got grenadiers? That Surely that's why the enemy was standing under it. Was to protect them from us. Now, this all hinges on if Riley can hold off the enemy for this turn or not. She can't shoot interception fire at them until she sees them. <laughs> oh, I think that might be it. I think he might just capture it. Yep. Dang it. Yes, this is it. Everyone. Grass. I'm sorry. Hey, Kai. No, come on. Don't do this. Kai. Lena. Lena! Guess we'll never know the exciting conclusion of Lena. Who is also Kai. Alright. So I'm going to try that again. I think we'll start from the beginning. The thing is, I, I don't want to skip to where we were. Because that's like, kind of ambiguous. So I'm going to avoid that for now. Let's see. But, now that I kind of know how that battle goes down, I get a much better idea of how, uh, right. how, how I want to do this. So, obviously, positioning units down here I don't think helps a whole lot. Because this is the base camp up here. Yes, sir! So we want That's two shock troopers to stay crouched. That'll give us a pretty decent defensive position. Then we're going to put another shock trooper ready for action. Who's going to actually try to push forward with the mission. And then I'm going to later spawn in I don't know if the sniper helps, so we might just go with the second shock trooper and have them push forward. Alternatively, I kind of like the idea of sending a grenadier to help deal with weird enemies and 
soften up some enemies before the shock trooper gets to him. So we might do that. But this is how I think we're going to deploy. Yeah. I wonder if all the uh, the Grenadiers get the armor-piercing grenades or only Riley. I imagine it's only Riley. We're going to be skipping most of the story here, though. Raz? Kai? Yep. Skip. Skip. That last stand was kind of cool. It didn't really help us in that particular situation, but I could see it helping us. In some pretty clutch situations. I assume it's in almost entirely random. Nice shot. I assume it's almost entirely random is that, you know, one out of every, I don't know, 10, 15... Let's say every... Uh, well, maybe it's more frequent than that. You know, but let's say one out of every ten units that gets down gets this option. Show me a good time. I think this Vulcan tank is dangerous. And if we, if we can get us down to about one tank, then it probably isn't as dangerous to deal with. Fire! Ooh. Yeah. Eat lead. Damn it. Die. Almost. Speed up. There might be a speed up. I know escape kind of makes me skip cutscenes. 